Hi everyone, in this problem we're going to convert this number 3164 in base 7 to base 5. So step 1 will be to convert this to base 10, then we'll convert it to base 5. So to convert it to base 10, the way I like to do it is I like to start with this number here, so 4, and we multiply by 7 to the 0 power, okay? Then you put a plus sign, then you go to the next number, so 6 times 7 to the first power, boom, and plus, then you go to the next one, so 1 times 7 to the second power. See how you start with this one on the right, and you just go 0, 1, 2, etc. You go up in powers. So the next one would be 3 times 7 to the third power, you see. So the pattern's pretty, it's really easy to memorize like this, because this one gets multiplied by 7 to the 0, this one gets multiplied by 7 to the 1, this one gets multiplied by 7 squared, this one gets multiplied by 7 cubed. And you just add them all up. So this is going to be, let's see, this is 4, because 7 to the 0 was 1, plus 42, plus 49, plus, I need a calculator, <laughs> 3 times 7 cubed. Whoops. Oh, good. I thought my batteries died. Let's see if this works. 1,029. So if you plug all of this into your calculator, um, you get 1,124. So this is the um, the base 10 form of of this number, which which is in base 7. Okay, so now we have to convert this to base 5. This is a little bit harder. So the way I like to do it is I like to repeatedly divide and then um, write down um, the remainders. Okay, so I'm going to just draw a line here. So we'll start by taking this number and dividing by 5. So 1, 1, 2, 4, then you divide by 5. Okay, so I put this in my calculator. 1, 1, 2, 4, divided by 5. So I get 2, 2, 4, 2, 2, 4, 0. 0.8. Okay, then I take this number, and then you multiply it by 5. So you do 2, 2, 4, times 5. All right, so 2, 2, 4, times 5 is 11, 20. So 1, 1, 2, 0. Then you subtract. So the remainder is 4. Right, 1124 minus 1120, the remainder is 4. So I'm going to put that in a box. Then you do it again, but you do it with this number, okay? So 224 divided by 5. So 224 divided by 5. So I got 44.8. 44.8. Then you take this number and you multiply it by 5. So 44 times 5. So 44 times 5. I got 220. Then take these and subtract. Remainder is 4 again. All right, really nice. Then we do it again. Okay, So we take the 44 and divide it by 5. 44 divided by 5. At this point, you can, you can do it in your head. You see the remainder is 4, right? 5 times 8 is 40, so you're left with 4. But let's, let's keep going with the, with, the, with the algorithm. This is 8.8. .8. Then you just take this number, multiply it by 5. So 8 times 5 is 40. Subtract. See, remainder is 4. So sometimes you can do it in your head, right? 5 goes into 44 8 times, the remainder is 4. Then you do it again. 8 divided by 5 is equal to, let's see, 8 divided by 5 is equal to 1.6. So you take the 1, multiply it by 5, so you get 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, that's the remainder. Then you do it one more time. So you take the 1, divide it by 5. This is going to be 1 divided by 5 is 0 0.2. Okay, so you take the 0, multiply it by 5, you get 0. 1 minus 0 is 1, remainder is 1. Now just write it backwards. 1, 3, 4, 4, 4. So it's 1, 3, 4, 4, 4. And this is in base uh, 5 is equal to 3, 1, 6, 4. And this is in base 7. Boom, there it is. I hope this video has been helpful.